Like it is. News Talk 710. KNUS Denver. The news now. Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Andy Field. Pope Francis celebrating Christianity's holiest day today under heavy security of the Vatican. ABC's Matt Gutman is there. Tens of thousands gathered here outside St. Peter's Square in Rome to watch the Pope celebrate Easter Mass. While he made reference to war, poverty, immigration, the one thing he did not reference directly in his remarks afterwards was terrorism. And then in his trip around the square in the Pope Mobile, he made a surprising turn heading out of the security bubble past the metal detectors to wave and bless the crowds outside. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Rome. In Brussels, riot police called in to stop an anti-immigration rally. The riot police moved in, their shields at the ready, armed with pepper spray. They fired uh, sound grenades and eventually brought in the water cannon. They formed this perimeter around these hundreds of hooligans, pushed them off of the main square, and started firing at them with these water cannons. ABC's Alex Marquardt in Brussels. After Saturday's caucuses, Hillary Clinton is still the clear front-runner of the Democratic race, but for Bernie Sanders, it was his biggest day yet, the Vermont senator winning in Washington, Alaska, and Hawaii by huge margins over Clinton. Sanders claiming momentum after the wins and a string of 10,000-plus mega-rallies last week from the West Coast to Wisconsin. No comment from the Clinton campaign on the losses. She's taking the Easter weekend off the trail, but she dominates in the delegate race. Mrs. Clinton needs to win just roughly a third of those still up for grabs to clinch the nomination. Sanders needs more than double that. ABC's Devin Dwyer. Donald Trump off the campaign trail for Easter, but still firing tweets at rival Ted Cruz, saying, quote, lion Ted Cruz is trying to convince people the problems with the National Enquirer were caused by Trump. He had nothing to do with the story. Cruz says Trump planted a story that he cheated on his wife. This is ABC News. Four, three, two, one. Friday's first endless apps of 2016 begins now. Kitchen, we are a go. That's right, America's favorite guilty pleasure is back. And 10 bucks still gets you endless rounds of your favorite app. Like mozzarella sticks, loaded potato skins, or eight styles of wings. We're talking endless rounds of the best appetizers on earth. More endless apps for mankind. Endless apps are back at Friday. Suck it, man. There's a reason why so many celebrities use Proactive. Their faces are their money. And it's time for you to get it because Proactive has set up a special 800 number. For just $19.95, you'll get Proactive and a rotating deep cleansing brush. A 45. The following is a paid program. Views expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of this station, its owners, staff, or management. News Talk Radio 710 KNUS introduces the Private Label University, the only show that dares to unlock the secrets to your online selling success so you can start making money and And living living your your dreams. dreams. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad. With over 35 years of sourcing, private labeling, and importing products for the big chain stores and coaching thousands of entrepreneurs, all while building their personal businesses, let's welcome our private label university hosts, the fabulous, lovable, and cutest dynamic duo, Karen and Neil Gwartzman. Welcome to the Private Label University on 710 KNUS. We are your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman. This is where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. Visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com where we offer a ton of free content and where you will find our eight-week import success formula program, the formula to sourcing and importing products so you too can start selling products on Amazon or online and start making the money everyone is talking about. And while you're over there on our website, leave us a message or a question and we will answer it on the show. We love to start off each show with an Amazon find. We help so many entrepreneurs source and import products so they can sell them on Amazon. But we also love to shop on Amazon. So, Neil, what amazing finds did you find this week? Well, actually, it was my find. I was going to say, I'll give you the credit for this. Yes, it was your find, but it was my idea of looking for that product. And that was something for our son who loves to draw. He's a budding artist. And he loves to try all new types of drawing products. And he found something, or you found something, called the Lucy Camera Lucida, the Lucy Camera. And it was a very interesting item. It was something that um, helps you and increases your ability to draw. Instead of just using regular old uh, tracing paper and putting on top of a magazine, this is kind of a gooseneck, um, almost like one of those lamps, the gooseneck lamp, and then you clamp it to a table, 
and it has this small box on top with mirrors on the inside. And basically, you look at something, so you aim it, uh, the little box at, let's say, uh, a landscape or, or a statue or maybe a, a bowl of fruit, and then it actually sends a ghost image right on the paper below you. So when you have your drawing pad right in front of you, you have your pencil ready, you look through this little box where you've aimed it at, and it sends the image there. So you don't need to you know, put the old-fashioned tracing paper on a magazine and trace it up, but you can take this outside. You can look at the mountains. You can look at some type of scenery, something in the backyard, maybe your dog. That's a great description that you gave. Yeah. Great description. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Yeah, and so it's real handy for someone who maybe is a, a professional artist or someone who wants to just try learning how to draw and perspective drawing. Um, he loves it. Yeah, our son Brayden is a fantastic artist. I mean, he draws cartoon characters. I mean, it makes an amazing Yosemite Sam and Daffy Duck and Mickey Mouse. And, and they look just like Walt Amazing, Disney's. amazing. And this is before the Lucy. I call it Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to remember. But it's just, it's a really great tool. And uh, the, the fun thing is we, we sat around one evening and we said, well, why don't we just do like a, a quick portrait game? And everyone took a seat. So we aimed it at that seat they were sitting at. And each of us had a drawing pad. You'd run over and you'd have like two minutes to sit there and draw the person. Mine and still it, didn't look <laughs> like it. I needed more than well, the Lucy, a lot I think, than, for that. <laughs> he was a lot better than you and I. But <laughs> it was really handy, a lot of fun. And uh, I recommend it. I think it's, it's a great product, uh, again, for art teachers, for students, for you know, even people who are going out in the field who have to look at some you know, scenery or... And it's made in the USA. And it's made in the USA. Yeah, it's actually by a young entrepreneur. We, You know, when you got the box, it had a little uh, code to see his video on YouTube and how to use the item. Simple to use, simple to set up. No batteries. Didn't have to plug it in. No electrical power needed. You just it's set portable. It up. Portable, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so if you're traveling, you can take it. If you go, let's say, to Europe or to Asia and you want to, you know, draw some beautiful pictures of scenery, you, you have it right there. So it's... Uh, it's a great tool. Um, so how do people find it well, on Amazon? Well, you, you have to go to Amazon, of course. You have mm -hmm. to have an account on Amazon. And you'll look for Lucy Camera. Lucy, L-U-C-Y, Camera. Mm -hmm. And it was $99. Uh, so it was, you know, it's something that pretty well lasts forever. It even came with these extra filters. It came with a little uh, explanation book. You can go to the YouTube site and it shows how to use it. Uh, and actually, there's some history because it actually, the person who developed it, uh, based it on a historic way of drawing, and they say some of the great masters, Vermeer, who painted the uh, and drew the the woman with the pearl earring, famous mm -hmm. painting, I think it's in the Louvre. Um, they say that actually he used something like that to have like a perfect Lucy. drawing, like the Lucy. So mm -hmm. check it out on Amazon. It's called the Lucy Camera. And when you're checking out, when you buy it, uh, you can go into the little message box to, to when you're ordering it, and just put in um, K N U S. And they're going to send you a free gift. I think they include a, a $25 value drawing kit that has pencils and erasers oh, nice. and everything else. So oh, it's, thank you. Yeah, so it's it's uh, amazing that they did that and uh, and called the Lucy Camera. Very great, nice. great tool. So another great find on Amazon. And here's a perfect yeah, and here's a perfect example of someone who invented a product, launched it on Amazon, and now is making money selling it on Amazon. This is exactly why we love to support entrepreneurs like yourself. And I really, you know, I really don't think that people really understand how profitable and how successful they can be by building a business on Amazon. It really is simple. You just find that perfect product, sell it on Amazon. And we give you the formula to successfully find that perfect product and private label it and start making money. So we teach you in our eight-week import success formula program the steps to sourcing and importing and private labeling. We literally walk you through the eight weeks of training so you succeed. So check us out over on our website at www.privatelabeluniversity.com. There's tons of free content there. We have we actually just released a new uh, boot camp. It's a five-day fast-track boot camp to private labeling. So definitely get that started. It is free. And you know, remember, you know, we've been doing this for over 35 years, working with the chain stores, helping them develop products. And when we meet with new and young entrepreneurs and even old entrepreneurs who have maybe invented something or came up with a product and want to get it launched, you know, we show them the basic steps and what they need to do to launch it online, especially on places like Amazon. Uh, there's other e-commerce sites, but of course, Amazon, we find, uh, is the most friendly, the most user-friendly to start a business. And it's open to everyone. But even if you're a retailer, you have a retail store, the programs that we offer are for everyone. If you're importing products or you want to find products at better pricing, then that's definitely the way to go. You want, you know. That's what we teach. Exactly. It's open to retailers as well. You know, people who have been in business for uh, 40, 50 years and then take our program, they go, wow, I didn't even realize that. I didn't know that. Or you just gave me tips and, and, and other clues to further my business and expand my business with other ways that I never even thought possible because the world is always changing.
And I think people have to remember that as things are changing, you have to conduct business with those changes and adapt. It's very important to adapt. You know, for centuries, people have built or franchised stores um, which have a big name. Uh, and, and what was that name built from? You know, you look at some of the big chains like Walmart. Was it that they had the best prices? Was it they had the best product selection? Um, was it the customer experience? Was it something that, you know, they just loved going into a certain franchise or a certain store because they loved the customer experience? And that's what attracted them and, you know, made them want to come back and buy more. And when so, you look at that, the customer experience, it's really everything. Again, going back to Amazon, the customer experience, going into a store, customer experience. Yeah, it's very important when you're building a business, making sure that customer experience is just beneficial for your customer. And these days, you know, the customer experience, of course, has gone even digital. So when you buy products online, there's feedback and there's reviews and there's testimonials. And companies, if they don't have a brick and mortar store and you're buying everything online, they rely on those good reviews and the positive feedback and the good testimonials. Well, absolutely, because when you're in a store, you can go in, you can touch a product, see a product, smell a product, feel a product. Taste a product. I don't know how many products I'm smelling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smelling. But when you're shopping online, where a lot of people now are shopping, you know, you rely on the other senses, which is reading mm -hmm. and which is seeing what other people are saying. What were other people's experiences? What were their reviews, their feedbacks, their and feedback? What are photos look like? Because you can't get that feel, touch, smell that when you're buying a product. Right. And you can imagine how powerful that is when someone leaves a review, that's a powerful thing. You know, they're they're telling the world because really it's open to anyone around the world who's viewing that to say, oh, that was a bad product. So maybe mm -hmm. I'm not going to buy it. But, oh, it was an exceptional product. It helped my life. It it made me happier. I'm, you know, everyone should have one. You go, hmm, maybe I should try that. So, you know, the feedback and testimonials, if you're not walking into a brick and mortar store, are very, very important when you're launching a product and making the customer aware when you're selling a product and making that customer aware when you're starting to launch a product and how to brand that product, that you're making it appealing because they're not there to touch it and feel it. So mm -hmm. that, that's that's really, really Even important. Even when I book a room for like a hotel, right? I book a room, I look mm -hmm. at, I go to TripAdvisor and I look to see what the reviews are before I'm actually going to book it. I want to make sure it's going to be a good choice. Yeah, and, that's, and these days people rely, especially when traveling, uh, like you mentioned, going to a hotel. Well, if there's 30 bad reviews, the likelihood of you actually staying there is probably pretty unlikely, but it, it's better that you actually look at the reviews and then, you know, ask some friends. If you know someone who stayed there, you want to know, is it, is it, was it a good experience? Uh, and then sometimes if there's only one or two reviews and they're not good, well, maybe it's someone who doesn't like the person who maybe runs that hotel if you're booking hotels. So, so actually, let's take a quick break here, but we're going to be right back. We're going to continue to share with you the biggest entrepreneurial oppor opportunity on the Internet. We are Karen and Neil Gortzman, Private Label University and 710 KNUS. KNUS News Talk 710. You want to relax. You want to feel fabulous. Reduce stress. Pamper yourself. Detoxify your body. But you need to visit Me Spa in Belmar Shopping Center. Find out what the ultimate pampering experience feels like. And what better way than to do it for half price? For a limited time, our chief bargain hunter is featuring a $100 gift certificate for just $50. And the only place you'll find it is on DenverHalfPrice.com. Or just click the Bargain Hunter link on 710KNUS.com or KRKS.com. Become the very best best version of you by relaxing your mind, renewing your body, and reviving your soul. You can do it only at Me Spa. For a limited time, our chief bargain hunter is featuring a $100 gift certificate for just $50. That's a $100 certificate for just $50, folks. You can find it only on DenverHalfPrice.com or click on the bargain hunter link on 710KNUS.com or KRKS.com. Do you suffer from pain, numbness, tingling, or burning in the hands or feet? It's called peripheral neuropathy. Tired of taking drugs that don't fix the problem or being treated without success? Well, Chronic Conditions Center of Colorado and Dr. Chris Steiner have created a program with no surgery, drugs, or injections, but with real results. Here's Diane. I was in a lot of pain in my feet from neuropathy. It was what I thought was my final chance. I had been to the Mayo Clinic, the neurologist, several other doctors. I had a bag of pills helped me walk. Doc was very, very positive. I kind of was pretty skeptical, but I'm not anymore. I had three treatments last week. I had one treatment this week, and last night I was walking in with four-inch high heels. Chronic Conditions Center of Colorado treats many types of chronic pain, and they have treatment programs for ADD and ADHD. Call Dr. Steiner at 303-660-2668 or visit them online at chronicconditionsco.com. That's chronicconditionsco.com. We now
now return to the Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gordsman on News Talk 710 KNUS. For those of you who are just joining us, we are Karen and Neil Gordsman, and you are listening to the Private Label University on 710 KNUS, where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. So visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com where we offer a ton of free content and where you will find our eight-week import success formula program, the formula to sourcing and importing products so you too can start selling products on Amazon or online and start making the money that everyone's talking about. And while you're over on our website, leave us a message or a question and we'll answer it on the show. And making money is important. Making money is very important. And I think making money is done. We were just talking about customer service. That was part of the discussion and I think you know getting good customer service or giving providing good customer service is going to make your business more successful of course than making more money so you know we we're just talking about um, having reviews and positive feedback and uh, when you're reading especially online looking at those testimonials to make sure that your purchase you're gonna be happy with your purchase and you're gonna look at what other people did mm-hmm. and so my question to you is you know if you saw a few bad reviews and there was a lot of good reviews, how likely are the bad reviews going to influence your decision? It's a great question. Um, depends on how many bad reviews, but I think it will. It will influence my decision. I think I think the bad reviews have more power than um, the good ones because, I, you know, people, you know, and I'll be honest with you, when I'm even searching, I kind of look for the bad reviews first. Mm-hmm. So I'll go into a site, um, even like, say, TripAdvisor, as I mentioned, I'll go in there and I'll look um, at, say, a hotel that I was looking at, and I'll look at the bad reviews first. Isn't that awful? Yeah. I look at the dates. <laughs> I look for the bad stuff. But I think it's important because, you know, I just want to cut to the chase, you know. I can read all these great things, but I want to hear the bad things, and then I can make a decision based on that whether or not this is going to be a good fit. But I think the bad reviews have more power. It's true. It's true. And, and people have to be aware of that, that uh, when someone shoppers are looking for products and they're looking at you know, what the reviews are in the testimonials. A lot of times they look for that one star and they go, why didn't they really like it? Uh, will that influence or maybe it's the reason why I may not like it. But, you know, there's an old saying in the retail industry where um, if you gain one, you gain three. If you lose one, you lose ten. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, it happens to be where someone buys something or they go to a restaurant or they go to the store and it was a bad experience and they tell everyone, oh, it was the worst place and I couldn't stand it and don't go in there. But if they had a great experience, they might tell maybe their mom, their dad, they may tell a couple friends and that's it. So, you know, it's almost like an 80-20 rule, but you gain one, you gain three, you lose one, you lose 10, because mm-hmm. everyone always talks about that bad experience. Yes, it's, and, it's definitely has more power, definitely more power. And you have to kind of look to see, like if, I mean, you're looking at reviews and they have, say, a thousand reviews and there's maybe 12 bad ones. Mm-hmm. To me, that wouldn't bother me mm-hmm. as and, much as if it was pretty, you know, it's pretty close. And it's important when you're launching a product and listing a product, even if it's your very first time on Amazon, that you're aware. So if you if you have a similar product where they may have uh, a lot of bad reviews, but it, you still know it's actually a good product and yours may be even better, look at those bad reviews and use it to your advantage to say, okay, maybe they didn't include good instructions. Maybe that's what people are complaining about. Or maybe they're saying that the packaging wasn't any good. Or maybe they're saying that... Um, it was too heavy, something. So if you're coming up with something similar, you can use that to your advantage to now say, well, our product is made this way because, Mm -hmm. or we include these type of instructions in many languages, or we have a help center. So even if they bought one and they weren't happy with it, but they still want it and they want to recommend it, now they'll say, well, I found this other company who has one and they answered all my questions and they can give me what I want. So now you're a step up. And this is what things that we teach in our program of how to be successful when going into a physical product business. Mm -hmm. I mean, reviews, really, it's social proof. When you cannot physically be in front of a a product, a touch, feel, as we mentioned before, a smell and taste, uh, (laughs) then then you really, I mean, it's social proof. You need those reviews in order to help you make that decision. And that's why it's really important. It's just unfortunate that the bad reviews outweigh the good ones. Sometimes they 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 do. Yeah, you know we all and people are very quick at leaving bad reviews, and they are good reviews. So you have to keep that in mind too, right? Right. There there might be there's probably so many more good reviews to it. Just a lot of people aren't quick at leaving reviews unless it's something that's bad. You know, we all have that dreaded car story where Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have a new car, you have a used car, and you have to find a mechanic to work on or some place to work on it. 
and you know you're always nervous and there's always something goes wrong I, i've never really heard great stories but i actually had have a great story because i had to take my car on the other day and again i was dreading where to take it to and i wasn't sure and every place you call they will bring it and leave it for a week and so i actually took the the easy way out there's actually uh, near my office there's an auto mechanic place and i thought i'll just drive it it's, it's you know literally two doors away and he always has lots of cars there so i thought either he's really busy so or he's, he's really good slow. or he's very slow <laughs> so i left the car there and uh, the gentleman, his name was Darwin, which I found was a fascinating name to have. Oh. Um, and he said, oh, sure, leave the car for the day. I told him, I'm just down the street. And he said, no worry, give me your phone number. I'll work out a quote for you. And uh, I called my wife and I said, don't worry. She says, yeah, I'm well, your wife. Check? I'm right here. <laughs> she is right here. <laughs> and, and right away, you know, didn't you say to me, did you check the reviews? Did you look at the reviews? How do you know they're any good? And I said, well, there's lots of cars. And right away you said, well, maybe they're no good. The cars don't work. And so... I said, don't worry, you know, so I actually looked on the reviews and they were fantastic. It was all mm -hmm. five star reviews. It was like 30, 40 reviews and they were all great. So you felt much better. I felt more relieved that you were relieved. You know, mm -hmm. uh, happy wife is a happy life. So, <laughs> this so, is true. <laughs> so what happened was I actually got a call that afternoon. They gave me the quote. It was a great quote. They said they could have it finished in a few days. Boom. Great customer experience. Great experience for me. And would you go back? And I would definitely go back. Um, so P and A Auto on Potomac and Alameda, they were about a half a block just north of there. Uh, as for Darwin, it was again great service. They made me feel welcome, um, and they, they they did everything I needed, what I wanted to do. So um, great place, and again, it it helps in that feeling, especially if you're nervous with uh, with cars. We all have that car fear. So um, did you go online and leave a review? I did leave a review. <laughs> I did, and I left a five-star review. So again, it's important to leave reviews when you have a good experience. So if it's buying, all about social proof, right? So whether you're buying a product or selling a product, you know, again, uh, when we teach people who are uh, to launch their physical product, uh, whether it be online or specifically on Amazon, uh, always look to back up. When people send questions, you have to answer those questions. You have to give them information because they want to feel good. They're not there, like you say, to touch, to feel, to smell. And this way, if they get the information, they go, "Wow, great customer service. This person is answering." everything I need. And again, again you, you hope that they're going to buy the product and that's how your business builds up. So it's, it's, it's very important for looking at the reviews and giving reviews. And like you mentioned, unfortunately, a lot of the bad reviews stand out. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult uh, making that decision. So I actually just want to take a second here and thank some people. Thank some uh, people um, because they gave us some really good reviews and feedback with regards to our five-day boot camp to private labeling. It's a new program that we released. It's free. And we, I just want to say thank you for leaving amazing feedback on our site um, at www.privatelabeluniversity.com. So thank you for that. Um, if you want a sneak peek into our eight-week import success formula program, then head over to that website and click on the tab Freebies. And you will see our fast track boot camp to private labeling. And you're going to love it because it's free. And I love free. We, everyone, lo everyone loves free. <laughs> and so for five days, you are going to get the secrets and the steps to private labeling. Each day you're going to get a video from Neil and I sharing with you the secrets to private labeling products and selling them on Amazon. So make sure that you grab this free course. It's free. <laughs> we are getting amazing feedback and reviews. So, again, thank you for leaving that. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's really nice. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. See, it's all about reviews. It's all about reviews. And, again, it's that customer service. You know, if someone calls us, they want answers. They want to know a little bit more information. And we're always eager to answer any questions they have. And we have veterans who have been in business for 30, 40 years uh, who have chain stores who call us up and ask us questions. Wow, you know, can I take your course? Maybe there's something new that I don't know. Uh, you know, just to, to be up to date, again, because everything's changing. Uh, look at shopping today. Everyone's, you know, going online, going to Amazon, uh, going to other e-commerce sites. And that's, uh, you know, I'm not, not going to say unfortunately that's where uh, the trend is when buying products. It's but about convenience. It's about Customer convenience, service. right. And if you do have a brick-and-mortar store, uh, it's, you know, you also have to enter that, uh, you know, the new era where you're going to have to put products online because if you don't have the best website or you haven't even started a website, you have to make sure you're selling products. And Amazon is a great way to start. And, you know, when we talk about launching products on Amazon, it's, it's a great way. It's an easy way. And it's another way to get another income um, and increase your income. That's, that's really important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Increase your income. I mean, other things too. I mean, it just it's it's it it's a way of starting a business without having to invest 
really in a brick and mortar, mm -hmm. if you go that way, or the brick and mortars branching out, as right. you mentioned. And a lot of people always have ideas of business and what to do, and they want to launch it some way, and that's a great way to do it. So, you know, we... We so always... let's let's talk about warranty and guarantees. Oh, yes. Because uh, I think this comes up a lot. Warranties and guarantees because I know you use that word interchangeably and it, and it makes me crazy because it means two different things to me. Right. A and... warranty to me means that I bought something and a warranty that the comp the company is going to back it and make sure that if anything happens to it it breaks or anything that they're going to replace it. Whereas a guarantee to me it means more the company is back in the product that it actually is what it is. Yeah, you know, these days... Um, so it's almost like insurance right. is the warranty and assurance is, is the guarantee. The guarantee. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, well, you know, you, you look at it, if you get a warranty, it's usually for something concrete. So it could be a stereo, it could be a car. Um, you you want to have that when you're buying a product. That makes you feel better. Uh, but a guarantee, you know, you walk into some restaurants and say, we're guaranteed you're going to have a great meal. You're guaranteed to have a good time when you come to Disneyland. Um, you want to make sure that guarantee is more verbal as opposed to the warranty, which is written down. And again, we tell people and, and talk about when you're launching a product, you have to give something to make that person feel good. So if they buy a product and they're not happy with it, but you're giving a warranty on it so they know they can get it replaced, then they feel better. Um, if you're guaranteeing they're going to love their product and you don't love it, well, then expect to get it back. So uh, that's something that happens. You know, when you when you walk into a place and they go, we're guaranteed you're going to have a great time at this new restaurant, um, the food better be good and the service better be good because they're guaranteeing it. Well, it makes me think of with you and your potato chips. <laughs> I love potato chips. <laughs> with the guarantee and, of and, the potato chips. And if you look on bags of potato chips, uh, typically a lot of the big companies, the corporations, will put on the back, that guaranteed freshness mm -hmm. or guaranteed the fresh chip guarantee the fresh chip guarantee you know when you when you <laughs> I don't buy think it, it really says that no. <laughs> <laughs> but you buy that bag of chips and it's you know you can feel the air packed in there and you can't wait to open it up and that it fills your nostrils with that delicious scent um, you want to make sure that you're you're guaranteed to to have a good time eating them so what I used to do, I, I don't remember, think guaranteed to have a good time eating them. I think the freshness, the is freshness, the freshness guaranteed. guaranteed. Well, I remember I did buy, a I bought too. a bag of chips once, and it said it was a new flavor. It was guaranteed you're going to enjoy it. Everything about it on the back, and I opened it up, started eating the chips, and all of a sudden I hit a giant clump of something. <laughs> and I remember I looked I down in the bag, this. and all the spices and everything and part of the potatoes were all clumped together. It was disgusting, and it said call if you're not satisfied. So I actually called up and I told them. The bag is disgusting. What do I do? And they said, don't worry about it. Um, send us a picture of it, and we'll do something. I sent them a picture, sent them my email. Two days later, I got 25 coupons for 25 bags of chips. And they they ensured, they said, we want to make now sure you're Now everyone's going to be, gonna be <laughs> <laughs> we want, Look on the back of each bag of chips you buy because if you really hate it, especially those new flavors you never, you're unsure about. But th that was the customer service. They supported the product they had, and people look for that. It's very important. People look for that when they're buying a product. And I know I look for that when I'm buying chips, especially if it's something I never heard about. Um, I want to make sure that it's it's a good brand. So people do look for warranties and guarantees on products. And it's very important when you're coming out with a new product or going to launch a product that you offer something to make your customer, whether it be a new customer or an existing customer, feel good. That's an amazing story. So let's actually take a quick break here, and we will be right back. We are Karen and Neil Gortzman with the Private Label University on 710 KNUS. BBC News, I'm Andy Field. Pope Francis celebrating Christianity's holiest day today under heavy security of the Vatican. ABC's Matt Gutman is there. Tens of thousands gathered here outside St. Peter's Square in Rome to watch the Pope celebrate Easter Mass. While he made reference to war, poverty, immigration, the one thing he did not reference directly in his remarks afterwards was terrorism. And then in his trip around the square in the Pope Mobile, he made a surprising turn heading out of the security bubble past the metal detectors to wave and bless the crowds outside. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Rome. In Brussels, riot police called to stop an anti-immigration rally. The riot police moved in, their shields at the ready, armed with pepper spray. They fired sound grenades and eventually brought in the water cannon. They formed this perimeter around these hundreds of hooligans, pushed them off of the main square, and started firing at them with these water cannons. ABC's Alex Marquardt. This is ABC News. News Talk 710. 
Are you a responsible person who finds yourself growing deeper and deeper in credit card debt and you're not sure how to fix the problem? Then get ready for a toll-free number that will put you on a path to financial recovery. Trinity Debt Management is a non-profit organization that will consolidate your accounts into one easy-to-manage monthly payment, put a stop to late fees and over-limit charges, and reduce your interest rates by as much as 60%. You'll save thousands and become debt-free for keeps. It's not a loan. It's a smart way to relieve your stress, meet your obligations, and preserve your self-respect. If your debt has you down, we should talk. Gather up your bills and call this toll-free number for a free, no-obligation debt analysis. 1-800-990-6976. That's 1-800-990-6976. If you're in debt and you need help, Call Trinity at 1-800-990-6976. If you're suffering with sleep apnea, here's the breakthrough you've been dreaming about. Now you can finally travel and sleep in total comfort anywhere without having to drag around a big bulky CPAP device. It's Transcend, the world's first portable mini CPAP device. And right now you can try Transcend and enjoy 10 nights of restful, blissful sleep absolutely risk-free. Call MiniCPAP.com now, 1-800-900-4179. Transcend is as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound, giving you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. For even more freedom, you can add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. Transcend is so small and so light, you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant, too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Now you can enjoy the freedom you've been dreaming about. The freedom to sleep comfortably everywhere. Call MiniCPAP.com for your 10-night in-home trial. 1-800-900-4179. That's 1-800-900-4179. Wondering what's next on Wall Street? Maybe it's time to take a different approach to investing with Brad Jenkins of Jenkins Wealth. So even when the markets do get volatile, because of our strategy, I help to take the guesswork out of it. So I'm never sitting there going, you know, oh, what should we do? What do you think? There's no thinking or feeling. It's a methodical, non-emotional approach. Join us Sunday afternoons at 1 o'clock for the Brad Jenkins Show. Making sense of making money on 710 KNUS. Yeah, new car shopping? Oh, great. There's a nice day wasted. I'd rather take a hit with a ball-peen hammer between the eyes than drive all over town. Well, uh, it's what one does when one car shops. I thought you liked shopping. Shopping, not driving. Hey, speaking of, how about we go to the mall instead? What? Uh, and this day had so much potential. ColoradoAutoMall.com. Local dealers with local inventory online. A virtual click away. I'm ready to click and shop. Boot me up. ColoradoAutoMall.com. Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gorsman on News Talk 710 KNUS. So welcome back. You are listening to Karen and Neil Gortzman, the Private Label University on 710 KNUS, where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. Visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com where we offer you a ton of free content and where you will find our eight-week import success formula program. The program, the formula to sourcing and importing products so you too can start selling products on Amazon or online and start making the money everyone's talking about. And while you're over there on the website, leave us a message or a question and we will answer it on our show. We were talking about customer service yes. and how great it is when you're selling products or launching products to make sure you offer that customer service, whether it be online or, of course, walking into a brick-and-mortar store. And, you know, I'm always uh, intrigued by return policies. You know, how often do you walk into a store? You know, one thing you want to know is, is there a good return policy? And, you know, much, much different from warranties and guarantees because return means if I don't like it, I can return it. But it can be deceiving because sometimes stores, for a while there, they jumped on the bandwagon of, we're going to give you a lifetime guarantee. But they talked about it, but in the fine print on their receipts they gave you, it says, lifetime guarantee if it's broken from an elephant sitting on it or from a <laughs> nuclear disaster. And then they go, oh. And they said, did you read the fine print? Because it's all written down here. And, of course, they won't back it up. And then, then of course, you have a bad experience because you're not happy that they didn't, you know, they say they're oh, guaranteed. So, you have to look again at what type of refund, how they offer it, six months, one year, lifetime. Uh, it's very important. And if you have a, a retail store, it's very important how you uh, explain this to your customers as well. Mm -hmm. You have Absolutely. to be careful. Um, you know, we all have the dreaded experience with a computer where you buy a computer, you're all excited, you get it going. And then the first time something happens to it, it freezes or it starts to break. 
oh, I now I have to call a help center and I have to call that 1-800 number. And then you get on the phone and maybe you're directed to another country and the person doesn't speak a perfect English and you're trying to understand them. And it's like, I can't understand you. And they say, well, my name's John. Can't you hear me? And you're... And so it's it's not the and best then they experience. Transfer and you. they transfer you to someone else. <laughs> and then you're on the phone for 15, 20 minutes, transferred over to five different people. And at the end of half an hour, no one's there to help you. You're back to still a frozen computer <laughs> and angry. So it's it's very important, again, looking at the warranties, looking at the guarantees, and making sure you're happy when you buy that product. You know, it, it's also the restaurant business. Mm-hmm. Restaurant business is selling a product. They're selling food. They're selling an experience, a customer experience. And I look for, I'm always... You know, uh, you're a foodie. I am. You're a foodie. You love food. I love food. When you go to a restaurant, you really want to make sure when people talk about it, how great it is. You know, the experience is great, but the food better be good. It better be good. And even, you know, the waitress or the waiter from everything, the whole experience. Because I know that recently we had a really bad experience. And that bad experience, you know, we had just came back from the doctor with our son and they said that he has a, a sensitivity a, to a dairy allergy, dairy allergy, mm-hmm. which is very common, but we wanted to see about changing his diet. And so we thought, okay, the doctor said he can eat lots of meat, lots of protein. So he said, well, I'd love, a, let's go to Smashburger. It was close by. We're driving. We see Smashburger and it happened to be a windy day. And I remember we, we went to get the door. It was the front door didn't work. You had to go to the side door. We went there and Karen couldn't open the door. And I thought, are they? She says, maybe they're closed. And well, I'm looking also, in the window. Also, for people who don't know who I am, I'm not even five feet and <laughs> barely 100 pounds. But <laughs> I couldn't open the door. She couldn't open the door. <laughs> and you, you would think someone who worked there would rush over to open the door to help her. Instead, we thought they were closed. We're walking down the front. We're looking in. We could see people. And they're, they're just pointing and saying, go open the door. And I thought, first thing off the bat, bad customer service. Mm-hmm. So I went Actually, over there. Actually, this is what prompted us for writing this particular show. Right. The bad customer. <laughs> and so I'm a pretty strong guy. I grabbed that door. I yanked it open and the wind was strong. We all went in and they just said, oh, sorry, the door sticks. And you could see a manager sitting there. He was either playing video games or well, talking on his sure phone. And we walked over and we said, you know, we're, we're looking to see if what products you have that it's a, it's a burger place that are mm-hmm. dairy free. What did they say? Uh, we have tons of stuff. Tons Come of, over here, and yeah. we'll show you. We have a whole list. That we have says, a chart that corporate sends us, and we can go through it and see. There's all kinds of things. We thought this was wonderful. This is great. Customer service is better now. Yes, they didn't open it was the door, better. but now it's getting it was better. better. <laughs> but she started going through the list, and she says, "Well, this one's great. Uh, it's only made with butter and not milk." And we said, "Well, butter is a dairy product." <laughs> oh, well, this one, the potatoes are made with butter. And we went, well, but are the you burgers making... were were fried or something with the butter. Butter. And we said, there, and we were the, I think there's only so, one other person in the restaurant. I said, well, do you make the burgers fresh Or here? can you just make them without yeah, the without, butter? Without, without butter. putting the butter Don't put in butter the in the pan. And when did she say, no, we can't? I thought, okay. She said, but... no, not only no, we can't. No, we can't. And we cannot help you. There's nothing that, that you can eat here. Okay. Thank you very much. So and really <laughs> bad. So right away, it's it, it was like a hammer hitting me going, Terrible customer service, <laughs> not help at all. They're, 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 we're the only ones here. They could have made a burger without throwing butter in the pan. You know, it's not like he's following some recipe that's so strict or it's some surprise recipe. And and so we left. We left. Yeah, we left. Disappointed. Disappointed with Smashburger. Not Burger. angry, but disappointed. Disappointed, yeah. Our son Until we walked outside. Until we walked outside. To an aroma of amazingness. The essence of barbecue. Who doesn't like barbecue? <laughs> it was It so just amazing. filled us. It's almost like the cartoon where the dog smells the food from like a mile away and he's floating in the air. We looked across the street because where was this fabulous smell? Jim and Nick's. Oh, Never been God. to a place. It I'm looked, salivating looked new. right now. Now I'm salivating too. <laughs> And uh, and it's coming up to, to to time to eat. We're always want to eat. And so we walked over and we thought, oh my, you know, we'll try barbecue. We're not huge barbecue fans, but it smelled so good. We were so hungry. So what was great was the door was open for us. Even with the wind, someone opened the door. The gentleman, Blake, said, welcome to Jim and Nick's. Uh, so happy you're here. What would you like? How many? Are... So, but right coming away... from a bad experience, our first thing was we wanted to see the menu and we wanted to make sure there was dairy free. Right, items. and we mentioned to him that you mm-hmm. know, and right away he said, "No problem." He this... assured us. He assured us. There's the guarantee. <laughs> we have dairy free products. We have something, and he mentioned we don't store things here. There's no refrigerators. Everything's it's made all fresh. fresh. And... and we thought, mm, fresh is good. I was good. just. Our... He good. got me at hello. I was ready to go in. He sat us down, and you know. It, Karen looked at the menu and she says, well, chicken, turkey, I'm not sure. And he says, well, you know what? How about I bring out a sample of each to try? And I thought, wow, making the experience even better. And so Karen was able to try them. And even better, to make the experience even better, they serve these amazing cheese buns. 
cheese buns, cheese buns. which are dairy. And he d- didn't even bring them over. I told us about and he them, but didn't, said, they you whispered know, to yeah. me. Didn't even bring them over because he didn't want to make my son, Brayden, feel right. uncomfortable um, in the restaurant, you know, knowing that that would be in front of him and tempting him. I mean, who does that? That's like thinking yeah. outside the box. Exactly. Going out of his way to make the experience nice for everybody. And the service was great. The food was great. Uh, and now lo- we're regular class customers, yeah. and and we always make sure we we get Blake. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great place. So if you're into barbecue, Jim and Nick's, um, it was a Hamden and I-25. Uh, mm-hmm. It seems fairly new, but again, uh, I think they've been there for. A, now it's a interesting year or so. though. So since you know we're talking about customers, we actually went to look at the reviews, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of good reviews, but there was also a bunch of bad reviews. Not a bunch, but a few. Yeah, and I looked at the bad reviews, and it was almost like the people were the the service wasn't fast enough. The first service wasn't fast enough. Well, if a place is busy, they can't always serve everyone so fast. And you know, these days people are always in a rush. But great experience, great food, Jim and Nick's. Um, I think you're going to need to take me there after the show for lunch. <laughs> So, again, it's that customer experience that helps a company do better, be more profitable, and become more well-known. And, and again, you gain one, you gain three. Do we tell tons of people? Well, I guess now we're speaking to millions of people out there. But, uh, you know, again, if I had a bad experience there, I might have asked for the manager. I might have mentioned to them. I don't know if I really would have given a bad review because it wasn't fast enough. Uh, maybe there was a reason. Um, but it, that was a great experience. And especially when we came from a bad experience minutes prior to that, where Smashburger wasn't helpful, they didn't have anything for us. It, was it just, just made bad. it stand out even more. Right. So definitely. So that's important. And well, I think... it's just like you know, it's like Nordstrom's. You always, you know, it you love Nordstrom's, don't you? I, I and do. why do you love Nordstrom so much? Because I love the, sh- the customer service and I love the return policy. See, a shopping experience. One of the being yeah. the return policy. We just talked about return policies, and you know, you can go to Target. I'm sure you can get many of the same items at Target and Macy's. But it's that customer service experience that you really like at Nordstrom's, which makes you recommend them and makes you go back to buy more things. Um, I know you like buying shoes. They say you have a great shoe selection. Why do you like buying shoes there so much? There's lots of shoe stores. Because they have a great selection. I get um, customer service there is amazing, amazing, mm-hmm. amazing. And if I even if I'm wearing the shoes or I've worn the shoes and there's an issue, even you know months, even a year, even a year later, they take I can still return them. Wow. I mean, that's, that's... That's pretty good customer service. That's amazing. And it's much like Amazon. Amazon, people shop on Amazon because of the customer service experience. They can go to it. They can look around. They can find the product. They have a question. They can ask a question online. Again, it's not like walking to the store and peeking, speaking to someone, but it's that customer service experience. This is a great place to take a break. So we will be right back. We are Karen and Neil Gortzman, the Private Label University on 710 KNUS. News Talk 710. KNUS. On Friday, May 6th, your life is about to be changed for the better. In these challenging times, we need inspiration and motivation to become the leaders we all know we can be. Plan to attend LeaderCast 2016, Architects of Tomorrow. You will be empowered with life-changing insights by renowned leaders like former Navy SEAL Rourke Denver, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, leadership author and speaker Andy Stanley, NCAA champions coach Nick Saban, James Brown from CBS Sports, and more, all part of the world's largest one-day leadership event that is simulcast around the world live. The choices you make define the leader you become, and our world needs everyday leaders who will step up to make a difference and make a positive impact on your organization, community, and beyond. Brought to you in collaboration with the Colorado Business Roundtable on Friday, May 6th. Early bird tickets are on sale now. To buy tickets and learn more, visit LeaderCastDenver.com. That's LeaderCastDenver.com. If you're considering going back to school, Ask yourself the following questions. Do you need the flexibility to take classes on your schedule? Do you have college credits you need transferred? Do you want to earn a quality degree from a world-renowned university? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Arizona State University is the perfect school for you. Arizona State University offers over 100 highly ranked degree programs 100% online. You'll earn the same degree as you would on campus, from wherever you are, on your schedule. Plus, ASU Online accepts most transfer credits. For information, call 1-800-618-2636. Learn for yourself why the Wall Street Journal ranks ASU fifth in the nation for producing the best qualified graduates and why 90% of ASU grads are recruited within 90 days of graduation. Learn to grow, learn to succeed, and learn to thrive at Arizona State University. 
To learn more about ASU Online Degrees, call 1-800-618-2636. That's 1-800-618-2636. We now return to the Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman on News Talk 710 KNUS. Well, welcome back from the break. You are listening to Karen and Neil Gortzman, the Private Label University on 710 KNUS, where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. Visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com where we offer a ton of free content and where you will find our eight-week import success formula program, the program that will give you the step-by-step process to sourcing, importing, and private labeling a product so you can start selling on Amazon or online and start making the money that you're supposed to be making. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about customer service and the wonderful experiences and I recently had, or we recently had, another great exp- great customer service experience, and that was at Natural Grocers. Mm-hmm. And I'm not one who normally shops at the uh, natural grossing places, but um, our son, who's had some recent allergies and sensitivities to, to some foods, uh, we decided to go there. It was recommended they had a good variety of products, and so we ventured over there. It's uh, It was over at Arapaho and... I-25. I-25, Arapaho and Dayton. Like Dayton, yeah. Called Natural Grocers. In any case... Uh, we were looking around, and we, you know, we weren't really sure, I guess, of what foods to choose and what he would like. And a uh, gentleman who worked there came over and, and started saying, "Well, you know, Rob. any questions?" Rob. His name is Rob. His name is Rob. Yeah. Didn't very, find our, very yeah, helpful. Yeah, we didn't find his name first. We just, you know, right. came up to us. So right away, a nice customer experience where he came up to us. He asked us if he could help us, uh, and he actually physically went around the store himself to find products to see if it could suit what we were looking for. Uh, whether it be soy-free or gluten-free or dairy-free. And it was everything free. Everything free. I mean, we free. needed everything and free. And we wanted some taste to it, so that was the yeah. important thing. And, and the great and thing was he knew the products. Right. I mean, he knew everything about the products. And that's the important thing. You know, when you meet someone in the store to make that customer service experience, whether it be in a restaurant or in the service industry, uh, being in, in a, a corporate chain, a, 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 you know, a supermarket, uh, it's important that they really are eager to, to help you answer questions and they seem like they enjoy their job. Like, they, they like what they're doing. They're helping you out. And Rob knew everything. And Rob knew everything. And so what happened was we actually, you know, he started asking about our son. And he said, oh, it would be great. You know, bring him over here, and I can show him around and, and we and had talk Braden with us. So we, well, the second time we brought Braden with mm-hmm. us. And then uh, when he came in, he recognized us. And he saw us walking around. He said, oh, you must be Braden. So right away, the connection, he remembered who we were, which made us feel better. Again, making the customer service experience very good. And he started talking to my son. He said, well, let me show you over here. And we have, you know, maybe like chips or maybe like popcorn. We have so many things that you can eat here. Um, and my son would say, well, do they taste good? And what does it taste like? And he would be very honest. You know, well, that's not so great. So, again, the experience was overwhelmingly just positive. And, and, that's, and that's the thing. Especially and you don't the- see that. You don't see customer service like that. Right. You know, especially that how much he cared and right. really wanted to help us. I mean, we were at lost ends. I didn't know what to feed him. Right. And Rob at Natural Grocers was came to our rescue. He, he was there to help us. And I think the nice thing was that when you meet people who work in, in retail establishments who are really invested what they do, it shows it's a good sign of what the corporation, uh, whether it be a, a independent franchise or a corporate, what it represents. And so when you see that store, if you're maybe you move to a different city or you're visiting another city and you happen to see a natural grocer, you're going to say, wow, I had such a great experience with Rob at, in, in Denver. I'm going to go seek out one if I'm in Chicago or New York or Los Angeles, some other place. So it's really And I important. never shop anywhere else now. <laughs> now you're addicted to natural grocers. But he'll, I mean, they even bring in stuff. So if there's something that you're looking for and they don't have it, or they're out of stock, or they'll bring it in. Mm-hmm. And, and retailers, when they're hiring staff, it's very important to make sure that you're hiring staff that, are, again, are invested in working there. They're enjoying their job. Uh, they want to be part of the experience. They want to be part of promoting the brand that you represent. Um, and I, I remember there was a store in New York City that I would always go to when I was in town, and the uh, some of the staff had been there for over 30 years. Imagine, over 30 years they'd worked in there. Why? They said it's just a great place to work. And I remember the, the, the store owner, I happened to go in one time, and I was looking around. I really couldn't find what I wanted. He said, we'll find you whatever you need. And I said, well, I only really need this. And they actually, it wasn't exactly what I needed, but when I talked to him after and told him who I was, he said, you know what, it's very important. He says, uh, what I represent and the company that we have here, we want to make sure when people come in, they don't leave empty-handed. They buy something. We're going to make that experience for them positive. 
And I think that's that's very important when people are starting businesses in the physical product business or if you have a retail store, you have to make that experience memorable. So when people come back, they want to go there. Um, you know, if you're just walking in to ask directions, that's one thing, but you really have to make that experience positive. And that's what we got with Rob Absolutely. at Natural Grocers. Yeah. And so, again, where can everyone find this amazing find? Right. And, you know, there, there's an old natural saying. Grocers natural Grocers. Natural Grocers, yeah. At uh, Arapahoe and Dayton. Yeah. And right ask for the, Rob. Right by the I-25. Yeah. Ask for Rob. You know, there's an old saying, you gain one, you gain three, you lose one, you lose ten. And it's very important to build up that customer base, uh, making sure that experience is a positive one. It's a great one. It's a memorable one. So that's that's the most important thing. Yeah, and customer service is, is something everyone has to know when they're building up their business. So making sure the knowledge is there. Absolutely. And it's, you know, again, also return policies are part of customer service. Mm -hmm. And, you know, look at our customer service, for example. We give a guarantee with our products because we know that they work. And look, we have 35 years of backing to prove it, mm -hmm. right? So look at all that. I mean, we offer a 21-day, 100% money-back guarantee. So this guarantee gives our clients the opportunity to see for themselves how amazing our programs are. And during that guarantee time frame, they're able to try the product to make sure that it's, mm -hmm. you know, what mm -hmm. they're, they're looking for. It's, and our guarantee in particular, it gives our clients or our customers, I mean, almost half of the content of all of our classes. Mm -hmm. So if you're not satisfied with the amazing content and the formulas and the support and the strategies that we give, we give you your money back. I mean, it, it's a no-brainer, really. Mm -hmm. And it's because we are so confident that you're going to love our programs. And this is what customer service is about. If you back your products... It, it's going to sell. Yeah, it's going to sell. You have People, to be behind you know, the product that yeah. you have. You have to be, uh, again, invested. If, you, if you're really passionate about what you have and you know it's going to help others, you know it's going to improve others' lives, um, you know it's going to be enjoyed by many people. You have to let them know, and again, you have to back that up. And that's why in our programs, we always we back it up because we know people are going to gain information. They're going to gain success from taking our uh, our programs, well, it's and we proven. see it all the time. Yeah, proven, proven and, and, success. And for people out there, you know, if you had any wonderful experiences, we want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. We want to hear what great experiences you have uh, in your city, in your town. Um, we want if you had a bad experience, let us know. Um, we may not always talk about it on the air, but you know we want to hear about it, and we're going to talk about that experience. Uh, it's very, very important. So actually, we have some questions. So let's jump into some question time. It's question time with your dynamic duo hosts, Karen and Neil Gorsman. What's your billion-dollar question? All right, Neil, put that cape away. <laughs> Tucking in the cape. <laughs> <laughs> You're always dancing through that. I'll, I'll take off my mask now. <laughs> exactly. So here we have a question from Patrick in Colorado Springs. Okay, Patrick. Um, so this is my second shipment that's arrived from China that I ordered from Alibaba. First one had damaged goods, and now this packaging is all wrong. Do I give up, or do I give up on China? Wow. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a great question. So I see there's some negative energy that he has flowing there, <laughs> um, and we want to change that around. So it's a, maybe a we should explain energy. to people first what Alibaba is. Well, Alibaba is an online site um, of manufacturers. It's basically a list of of places in Asia. So mostly from China, some from Taiwan, some from India, uh, and they're they're showing their products. It could be small manufacturers, it could be big manufacturers, it could it's be kind of like the companies. Amazon of China. Kind of like that, yeah. But it, there's but not really individual suppliers, suppliers. And manufacturers, right? So obviously, Patrick is ordering products to sell. He has a physical product business where he either just started or maybe he's already been in business and he's launching a product. And so obviously, he had um, a couple bad shipments, as he said here. Uh, and his question was. Do I just give up or give up in China? Well, first, Patrick, never give up. Never give up in business. If, again, if you're serious of what you're doing and you're passionate about what you're doing, don't give up. Um, unfortunately, you're dealing with another country. So there's language barriers. There's cultural barriers. There's just there's just different etiquette when doing business. And it could have been in the communication that you had with the factory. Uh, maybe it wasn't clear and concise, um, the information that was relayed back and forth. And I know in our programs, we teach people how to communicate when buying products and speaking to con to different factories overseas, especially on Alibaba and AliExpress. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we explain to our clients that communication is, is very important, whether it be in emails or Skype, how you conduct business. So, you know, should you give up in China? No. There, there's great opportunity with working with factories in China. 
Um, there's thousands of products that are coming in daily from China. Um, so don't give up. Stay uh, positive. Stay invested. And just start to communicate. And we uh, actually talk about in our classes about packaging going wrong. Yes. And um, things to... And communication barriers mm-hmm. and how to solve that problem. You know, we, problem. we take uh, a lot of companies to China, to some of the biggest trade shows in Asia. And prior to that, when and they take our one. program, yeah, we have mm-hmm. one coming up next month. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we train them. We make sure that they have, they're prepared when they're doing business, how to talk to the companies in China, um, learning the, the different social etiquette and doing business. Because it's very important because people from and other And how country, to find a reliable supplier that these mistakes are not happening. Exactly. Finding that, that good supplier so you have that perfect product. Uh, and that's what we teach in our program. Absolutely. So um, that was a great question. Yeah, excellent question, Patrick. Okay, so let's, the next question is Thomas in Grand Junction. What is the safest way to make a payment to a company in China? China again. Is wire transfer safe? Wow. Also a great question. Also a great question. You know, when it comes to payment, you always want to be careful. Uh, You want to be able to protect yourself because you're sending money to a foreign place. Um, You know, even if it's a national place, um, but it's on the other side of the country, you don't know where your money's going. So, if it's going to a company making a payment in China, to me, wire transfers through the bank are the safest. Uh, never send credit card, never send cash, never send checks. Um, that should be common sense, but people these days will say, oh, don't worry, just give us a credit card number. Don't do that to overseas companies. Uh, wire transfer is the safest through your bank, and a lot of the banks now have on online uh, programs that you can use to making it simple and user friendly, and you can do everything online and keep track of everything where the, where it's going to, the amount you're, that you're sending. And so, PayPal safe too. And PayPal, yes, is safe too. And a lot of more com- a lot more companies in Asia now are accepting PayPal. Mm-hmm, absolutely. So that's, that's that's a great. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, great question. So wire transfer, talk to your bank. I mean, they're there to support you, and they will protect that. So actually, we need to wrap up our show for today. So we are Karen and Yale Gortzman, the Private Label University, where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. We want you to know that the Private Label University, it was made for you, the entrepreneur. So if you're ready to release the entrepreneur in you, spend more time with your loved ones, and ready to start making some serious money doing what you love to do, then join us each week at the Private Label University here on 710. And KNUS Sundays at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. We entrepreneurs, we need to stick together and support each other. There's enough success to go around. So much more fun, so much more fun we would have, we wouldn't we? Have. <laughs> if we all did it together. So be sure to visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com. That's privatelabeluniversity.com, where we offer a ton of free content. And don't forget to check out our eight week import success formula program the formula to sourcing and importing products so you too can start selling products on Amazon or online and start making the money that everyone is talking about. And while you're over there on our site, leave us a message or a question and we'll answer it on the show. Yeah, and we talk about if you find, if there's a great find that you see on Amazon, let us know about it as well. We love to talk about great new finds. Uh, as well as, again, we talked about customer service experience. If you had a great service experience, we want to know about it. We want to know where it was and we'll talk about it. Uh, And, and, Again, the importance of having that great uh, experience. Customer service experience. All right. We will see you next week. See you next week. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad. Thank you for joining Karen and Neil Gortzman at 710 KNUS, the private label university, the only show that dares to unlock the secrets to your online selling success so you can start making money and living your dreams. Remember to visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com for tons of free content. While you're there, leave us a message and we'll air your comments and questions on the show. Listen to us every Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. The dynamic duo, Karen and Neil are now signing off.